15 things you didn't know about Boeing. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers and welcome back to another amazing video. Today we're looking at one of the most famous companies in the world, and the largest aerospace company in the world, Boeing. Boeing was founded 100 years ago this year and has been making commercial and defense aircrafts, satellites, rockets, and rotocraft, which are sold and used all over the world. They dominate air traffic in most countries and their name is instantly recognizable. Because Alux.com is dedicated to becoming the world's best resource on the most expensive luxury items and influential businesses around the globe, we wanted to bring you another video about another iconic brand and the many fascinating facts that surround them. With that being said, let's take a look at 15 things you didn't know about Boeing. Number 1. Boeing's Everett Building is the largest building in the world. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, it covers nearly 100 acres and is where they assemble some of their largest commercial aircrafts. 30,000 people work at the Everett Building and it has its own gym, daycare center and fire station. It's basically a small city. On one of its sides, it also features the largest mural in the world. When it's done, Elon Musk's Gigafactory will be the second largest building. Number 2. The very first Boeing plane was a seaplane. The B&W seaplane was made of wood, wire, and covered in linen, quite different to a 747. Boeing's founder, William Edward Boeing, couldn't convince the U.S. Air Force to buy them, so they sold them to a New Zealand flight school instead. This would become the company's first international sale. Number 3. In 2006, Boeing named three of their prototypes after the Muppets. Kermit, Beaker, and Fozzie referred to fuel and cost-saving engine layouts. The names were chosen to keep them secret and so that no one would be able to guess what Boeing was working on. It probably worked quite well. If you haven't watched our past videos, Disney actually owns the Muppets. Number 4. There are 365 switches in the cockpit of the 747. No wonder pilots are so highly paid. They have a switch for every day of the year to contend with when they're flying Boeing's most famous aircraft. The 747, or Queen of the Skies, was first produced in 1968 and is still widely used around the world. Number 5. When the 747 was designed, Boeing was convinced that supersonic flight would soon take over air travel. The designers were sure to include space for cargo in the 747 because they thought their methods were going to be abandoned for supersonic commercial travel. By creating space for cargo, there was less a chance of the 747 becoming obsolete. Number 6. When the U.S. government started investigating Boeing for fraud in the 1950s, Boeing himself was so angry he retired and sold his aviation stocks. The company had to explain some stock flotations to the government, and Boeing was not pleased. Number 7. Boeing's factory in Seattle could produce 16 B-17 aircrafts for the U.S. Army every 24 hours. Boeing's activities were crucial during World War II. They were called upon to provide sturdy aircrafts for the war effort and maximize their productivity to meet targets. Before the war, they also introduced directional radios to their planes, an invaluable wartime tool. Number 8. William Boeing died of a heart attack while on his yacht. As far as deaths go, it's a pretty glamorous one. It was 1956 and he was 74 years old. He unfortunately didn't live to see Boeing's first commercial airliner take flight in 1957. Number 9. It was a Boeing B-29 that dropped atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The Super Fortress was specially constructed to carry nuclear weapons. 
It had a pressurized cabin, a remote fire control system, and redesigned landing gear. The whole B-29 project cost $1.7 billion more than the Manhattan Project. If you have an open mind and want to learn more, you might be interested in our previous video, 15 Things Americans Didn't Know About the United States. It caused plenty of controversy when we published it. Some comments even said we were paid by the Chinese and the Russians to make it, but everything in it is factually true to the best of our knowledge. Number 10. When World War II ended, Boeing converted a lot of their bombers into passenger planes. When the war ended, Boeing were left with aircrafts that were virtually useless. Instead of wasting the money they had spent on manufacturing costs, they modified the B-307 and B-17s into commercial aircrafts. They were certainly economical. Number 11. In 2015, Boeing had assets of $90 billion. Boeing's considerable assets can mainly be attributed to their valuable military contracts, as well as the 145 aircrafts and 10 satellites they've designed and built over the last 100 years. Number 12. After World War I, Boeing started making furniture to make ends meet. There were many ex-warplanes flooding the market after World War I, making them far less valuable. To stay afloat, literally, Boeing actually started making furniture. They also started developing flat-bottom boats to pay the bills until planes became viable again. Number 13. Boeing was the first contractor for the International Space Station. Boeing manufactured the ISS's cooling system, amongst other mechanics. The contract was recently extended to 2020, so they're going to be working with NASA for many years to come. The thing is, Boeing used its influence and tried to kick Elon Musk's SpaceX company out of a NASA contract. Elon managed to get himself a trial and it was successful. Before SpaceX, Boeing had a virtual monopoly on space flight and had not innovated in over 50 years. If you want to learn more about Elon Musk, we covered him just a few videos ago. Now back to Boeing. Because of the pressure of completion, they just announced they made a major breakthrough. Boeing has created a new material that's 99.99% air, so light that the material can slip on top of a dandelion without crushing it. Number 14. The Boeing 777 has a flight time of over 35 million hours since it first flew in 1994. The world's most popular wide-body airliner in the world, the 777, can cruise at 560 miles per hour and has outsold the 747. If you added up the distance every 777 in the world has flown, it would equate to 13 trips from the Earth to Saturn. Number 15. The 787 Boeing Dreamliner contains 2.3 million individual parts. Just as a comparison, the 737 has 400,000 parts. The Dreamliner is a huge upgrade. The name was originally going to be the 7E7, which the E standing for efficiency. In the end though, they decided that tradition trumped efficiency and stuck with a number format for the name. Boeing really is an incredible company. Their innovation is incredible, and with new developments in aeronautical and satellite engineering constantly emerging from their factories, they have certainly cemented their reputation as the greatest airline company in the world. If you had a spare few hundred for your very own Boeing, which one would you buy? Would you have your very own classic warplane from World War II? Or would you prefer a stunning dreamliner for all of your friends and their families, and also their extended families? Oh, you're still here? Here's another impressive fact about Boeing. The latest model of a 747 can travel the length of three FIFA football pitches in just one second. Your drink on board might take a little bit longer than that, though, so be patient. 
Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy. Or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.